Hello everyone. In this session, I would like to perform um, statistical analysis, especially Pearson correlation. Uh, so basically, we have two main variables that we are going to see or that we are going to calculate using the Pearson correlation. Uh, the first variable is the total value of communication apprehension that is experienced by 40 um, respondents and the second variable is speaking score that is performed by 40 respondents now let's click analyze then we see correlation and then choose by variate we can directly choose the total value and speaking score we click here so they move to the right column for the option if you want to see the statistics like the means and standard deviation you can also click this one continue and then choose Pearson correlation because in the previous session the data have been tested and the test results show that the data are normally distributed and they have a significant linear relationship between the two variables so we can use the Pearson um, correlation besides because the data are in numerical forms or in interval or ratio data so we choose the Pearson correlation and the test of significance choose two tailed and flag the significant correlation and then click OK in the correlations table we see the descriptive statistics the total value is 40 no missing data and then the mean is the mean is 58.45 and the standard deviation is 14.706 for the communication apprehension while for the speaking score the mean score is 62.9150 and the standard deviation is 13.828 so it means that the, da the data varied quite greatly and now for the correlations between the two variables we can see here that the correlation between communication apprehension and the speaking score is 0.03 or it is very little yeah less than 0 0.5 and we see that the significance here for two tailed is 0 0.397 which means that it is higher than 0 0.05 in which the significance should be lower than 0 0.05 to show that the relationship or the correlation between these two variables is significant but because it is higher than 0 0.05 therefore there is no significant correlation between communication apprehension and the speaking score and it means that the null hypothesis is accepted while the expected hypothesis is rejected so that's all for performing the um, Pearson correlation hopefully it helps you and see you on the next session